Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, boys and girls, depending on where you are around the freaking world. And I really hope everyone's having a blessed day and everyone's doing their best to stay strong throughout these tough freaking times. But of course, we are back again, boys and girls, with another freaking video. And um, before we get into it, please begin by uh, hitting that freaking subscribe button. I don't know how, but we're so close to 10k so let's get there before tonight before the end of today depending on your timeline if you dig what i'm saying but at the same damn time smash the freaking like button comment throughout and share the video at the end but with that being said boys and girls alex is someone that we covered yesterday and when i covered a video on her i spoke about her accountability that was one of the main things that i spoke about and you know what speaking on the fact that she lacks accountability is something that we're going to touch base with today because i know some of you guys were looking for a part two to her accountability and at the end of the day if you're someone that hasn't seen the previous video i suggest you go and see that video predominantly probably now and then come back to this one so you can see where we are and why we've continued with this line with this chain of events now boys and girls yesterday obviously when i spoke about the post that i spoke about i was then introduced to a different post a post of back in the day well predominantly you know 2020 okay boys and girls and in this post is a post that she made about makeup Okay, it was there that she made a video where she was half no makeup, interior eyed, and the other half was all makeup, hair, all nice and done. Okay, so that was the concept, something that you would find on our IG. But for people who don't know, of course, for me now to get my to get my sources, I've got to get obviously for me to get my information, I got to get my donors. Obviously, go and recruit information for me because, as you know, Alex has obviously blocked me. She blocked me even before I even knew about her Instagram. Do you know what it means? So she knew about me before I knew about her. But nonetheless, that's a different conversation. But either way, that still lines up to the point I'm gonna make today anyway with accountability. Because one thing that we do know is when it comes to accountability, this woman is very quick to block or delete anyone that says anything that she does not like. But then there's sometimes she has certain hiccups, and those hiccups always seem to be on the internet because people always find a way to screenshot them and as you can see boys and girls or as you're going to see they've been brought to my attention but let's move on to this pacific caption that she made okay after she made a pacific video like i said before half face half everything she then came along with this caption itself in particular all right so let me just minimize this boys and girls for you so you can see it all in full okay so you know what you are um going to be getting okay boom 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 okay so, in this caption itself in particular, she came out by saying, Back when I first got into makeup almost a decade ago, it was so therapeutic for me. I channeled that again tonight. I did this look for a real breakdown tonight. To tonight. One, of the, one of the frequent ones I have. Quite honestly, the tears were real. Mm, we'll get back to that. I cleaned up the other half of my face and put makeup on it for this look. This is... How decept how this is how I decept so this is how I dissect that I and probably many other influencers feel beyond the smiles, the makeup, the ring light, and camera. Is an anxious person constantly being critiqued and judged by strangers online. One comment, one hateful page, one person can send you a full blown panic attack. Hmm. Some days you rise above. And, be and burlesque in positivity and gratitude. Some days the darkness overtakes the light and it consumes you. And I am all and I and I am blessed and I am so blessed and thankful for this job. But it doesn't mean I am bulletproof. You know what, boys and girls. You know what, boys and girls. When you read this, when you hear me read this, and you and, and we obviously process what he said here. Th these are some strong words, you know, Str words that we can always we can always go as far as saying they are so heartfelt. But the problem is, boys and girls, is this. This is where we have the problem we have in hand, okay? Alex is obviously someone, like I've said before, when it comes to accountability, she's someone that will always like to put the pressure and the blame onto the people that view her stuff. She will never try and put the pressure and blame onto herself in terms of maybe what she has done wrong, which is where we get into the situation of accountability, okay? So it's all fun and games to write this here, but where was your accountability for maybe the behavior that you have done over the years on the internet? Because at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to the internet or when it comes to life, forget the internet, when it comes to life in general, for someone to dislike you, it means you've done something towards them to offend them. For multiple people to dislike you, it means you do something recurring for people to, dis to dislike you. Okay, and at the end of the day, this is the this is where we are today. Alex is someone that has done recurring things, time and time again, that has created this 
this this this this this enigma of 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 dislike towards her because i can tell you this now firsthand the people that are most frustrated with alex are not people that are wo- that woke up one day and said hey i don't like you these are the people that woke up went into youtube and they followed this beautiful young girl eight years ago or no was it 10 years ago how long she's been on here okay i think about 10 years ago they followed this beautiful girl who started making videos in her mom's attic okay well in the uk we call it a loft but, but anyway we can we continue and she's someone that had a journey about f- fashion and also had a journey about health as well as weight and this is someone that over the years has progressed and as she has progressed she's been able to gain sponsors which is fantastic for her she's been able to to gain access to to clothes that are that are amazing you know for any kind of lifestyle and she's also been able to gain equipment for fitness and on top of that she's been able to gain a huge following within those many years of her being on this platform but of course somewhere down the line those people who loved her who supported her who thought that she was everything there was a point in line where she let them down and this is where we talk about accountability so it's all nice for you to come out and say that i am not bulletproof i am not this person and nobody's asking you to be bulletproof in fact we're only asking you to be who you say you are and that is fearless but being fearless does not come with lies. Being fearless does not come with giving people doubts. Being fearless doesn't give reasons to doesn't give people reasons to turn their back on you. So therefore, instead of you talking about the fact that you could have a full blown heart attack or you speaking about other influencers and X Y Z that you say here, the reason why a lot of the things that you say is not relevant is because you yourself, Miss Fearless, have let down the fearless tribe. Because really and truly. Why would they have these assumptions that they have of you now? We can talk, like, again, boys and girls, if you haven't seen the video before this, you understand what I'm, gonna, what I'm saying to you right now. And not even just the video before this, but the videos I've made in this series, okay? Because one thing that I find is that sometimes when I get some of Alex Minions reaching out to me, whether it be on Instagram or be on, or be on the chat, I find that they haven't actually backtracked every single video that I've made about her. They'll watch one or two videos and make their mind up that I'm this person who's trying to ridicule her, who's someone who's trying to put her in a mental, uh, mental health situation. Far from the case. The matter of the fact is, I have multiple people reaching out to me every single day saying to me, Maddie, Alex has actually broke my heart. I was a big fan of her. She's someone that has not taken accountability and each time I've tried to approach her, what has she done? She has blocked me and deleted me. But yet she says that we are the fearless tribe. We are a community. But she does not reap what she sows. What she sows. Let's continue, boys and girls. So this is just one thing that she said, obviously, at that moment in time. Now, people, we're going to talk about some of the comments that she's had slip-ups. The way she's done a slip-up, and she obviously hasn't been, you know, she hasn't taken accountability for what she has said. Instead, she's had to continue the lie. Now, in this conversation here alone, boys and girls, okay, there was a moment in this conversation where, as you can see, why does she always awkwardly pop up her leg and barely mention the size? Now, I don't want you to focus too much on that comment. I want you to focus on the next one. She replies by saying, girl, please. I'm, all, um, I'm, I'm in almost, ever, in almost every, every video I say I wear two times or 18. And if I get a different size, I will let you know. And I'll let my leg pop. Okay. Remember, I want you to listen. To, just remember the, remember the number 18. The number 18 is where we are focused at right now. And as you can see here, boys and girls, there's another one here that comes in place, okay? Like I said, boys and girls, there is, a, there is a chain of events that Alex has done that has now forced certain people that were big fans of her to feel like maybe Alex isn't here for us anymore. Maybe Alex is just using us. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we are not a part of the first tribe. Maybe we're just here just to be the pawns in her game to make her feel better about her choices in life, to not do better for herself. But this is where we get on. But then this is where we, like I said, boys and girls, look, remember the, remember the number 18. As you can see, the young lady came out by saying, glad you are feeling balanced and better. I just, I just thought you, uh, I just thought you always been a size 18. And now you said you used to be a size 20, size 22. Alex then decided to bounce back. And let me just move myself away from the camera, or coming from the screen. I've mentioned a lot the last year. I mostly wear size 20. I wore 22 at AE because it runs small so again you know these these are the things when it comes to accountability there's obviously a point where she slipped up on what she's saying here you know someone that and this this is the one of the worst things that people that lie too much they tend to forget their own lies 
And then when it comes to, instead of admitting that they may be lied or they're admitting that maybe they did a slip up, instead of doing that, they'll continue the lie and say something else. How can you say you're two times and then 18 and all of a sudden you're saying that you never claimed to be 18? You've been 20, 20 the whole time. This is where you lack accountability, which goes back to the very first statement that we spoke about here. How can this statement itself alone give us a, a single ounce of sympathy for you when you are not considerate of the sympathy that your followers need? And again, boys and girls, if you haven't seen the video before this, this also makes sense. But then, in the video before this as well, there's something that she spoke about. She spoke about community. She spoke about the fact that the Phyllis tribe is her community and it is important that we all encourage one another and we all uplift un one another to keep going forward. Which brings me to the next thing that I'm going to speak about. In this clip here, this is a podcast that she did once upon a time with her mother. And I just want you to listen to this part of the podcast. I can see you dating someone like him. <laughs> He's super funny. All right, so... Uh, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Hey, of the we're not gonna podcast. do another question. No, why not? Because our time is up. 40, oh, we're doing forty-five minutes. Yeah. We need to listen carefully. This is awkward. Yeah, this is really awkward. Couldn't you have just gone with it? No. Let's just do one more question. I don't want to do another one. Oh, you're cranky. I'm not cranky. All right, you want to do another one? I think our fans would like another one. I think our fans would like a one hour. So mom's been very considerate about the fans, the Phyllis, the Phyllis tribe, okay, the community. Our episode. Okay. <laughs> Why? Just something important to do? No, I just, I like, I don't know. You like 45? Yeah, because then it just, it's less pressure. Understandable. Right. For the future. Okay, then let's just wrap it up and you can um, edit that out. That was understandable, but it's what she says next. Um... Also, we don't have any that are short. Like, it's just annoying. Everyone's are like four minutes. Like no one listened. Six minutes. Four minutes. Like I don't have any other short ones. We did that one last week. Um, All right. So do you want to just remind everyone, send in your voice memos. Please try to keep them under three minutes. Okay. Um, just for the sake of... Can you start that line over? Okay. Hey, guys, don't forget to send in your voice memos. So, please, please. We'll just speak about this moment in the in question here. I can understand it. Obviously, she wants to make a podcast 45 minutes long. And of course, she doesn't want to go over time because she obviously wants to make sure that within the weeks that she does a podcast, you know, people get used to the 45 minute mark, which is absolutely fine. But of course, sometimes with a podcast, you're open to extending for just a little bit longer, if necessary, okay, depending on the situation. And obviously, her mom does state in this video here that we don't have anything else better to do after this. So why not? Now, obviously, Alex's defense towards her mom or, you know, excuse was that uh, people don't listen. They sent me ones that's too long. But this is the thing, you talk about community, you talk about uplifting one another, you talk about everyone coming together. But here's the thing though, what is the big deal if people, it's sometimes when people send voice memos, maybe they can't fit in what they want to say within three minutes. Maybe what they want to say is so important and so dying to them that they so strongly want your opinion that sometimes it just, it's, it's going to go over to the six minute mark. Of course, it cannot be, I can understand it can be, it can be frustrating to a certain extent, but if you really do care about these people uplifting you and you care about you uplifting them back just as much as they support you because remember when it comes to the fearless tribe when it comes to youtube itself nobody is more uplifting than the people in the comment section they're the ones that help you grow they're the ones that pay your bills they're the ones that buy all your merch they're the ones that come in day in and day out and check out what you are doing so therefore when it comes to uplifting they do it on a countless amount and they did it any time of day some people will even go on their break time at lunchtime instead of going out with their friends at lunchtime to you know get a snack or whatever they'll sit on their phone they'll they'll get on youtube and they watch their favorite youtube but to see what the favorite youtube is doing today sometimes people will quickly run to the toilet during their work break to see oh hold on a minute alex just uploaded let me see what she's got to say so therefore you know end of the day when it comes to accountability if you're if you if you cannot even give the, the fearless, the fearless uh, tribe six more minutes? <laughs> How does that make any sense? I understand. I really do. But at the same time, you're working a job where you have your own hours, your own time. You plan what you want to do. And this moment time, you had nothing to do. And obviously, you forgot to uh, 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 delete this part, which is obviously shaming you. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying there's people that... Um, really don't have the time in the day to watch you, but they make the time to do it. And you can't make time for someone who's made a, a voice note that's merely, what, over three minutes? Really? I mean, I guess maybe you were just cranky on that day. 
But you know what, the boys and girls, that is not what we stop here today, okay? Obviously, you know, we speak a lot, we, we, we obviously have spoken a lot about accountability in terms of Alex, but let's talk about accountability again in another aspect. And I want to talk about accountability even when it comes to Alex's mum. But this one was very interesting. I, I didn't want to talk about it, but then when I came across the evidence, I was like, yo, this is not good. And I feel like sometimes if you've got a platform that you're using, to gain money and you're using to promote other people if those people use your platform in the way that they shouldn't be using it then maybe it's maybe it maybe you should stand up and be like hey guys i didn't realize so and so was doing this and i can't believe i promoted it but i've spoken to them and i've mentioned they're not going to do it again and if you don't know what i'm talking about boys and girls i want you just to have a look just, i just want you to have a little listen to this clip here okay that was sent to me okay and this clip here is actually referencing alex's mom created those it's just it was the pretending that you had no clue, which is just nonsense when you're like a 60 something year old lady. Problem with people not owning their shit. Um, you know, if you, if you do something wrong, own your shit. Don't pretend like you had no clue when you're lying. Again, getting back to the people who private mess me, message me. I can't speak today. Uh, I really appreciate that. You're looking out for me. You guys rock. But they wanted me to go after him. I can understand that because they felt duped. Um, for me, it's not worth it. If it was way more money, then I'd get my IP lawyer, but it's not worth it. If you're new to my channel on Instagram because of them, hello, thank you for following me. You know, maybe that daughter should have had her 400 and something thousand followers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also want to say a shout out and thanks to all my Instagrammers here who came to me and private messaged me about the person who was basically copying my tutorials and selling them as her. Just copying the tutorials, which, hello, that's what they are, tutorials, but not giving credit to me and selling them on Etsy and signing them as her own, which is ridiculous. Did make a substantial amount of money, not super substantial, because her daughter has a huge Instagram and YouTube and was pushing them. Lovely. And the, you know, when caught was, oh, you know, had no clue, but you had no problem saying where you got the inspiration from, right? <laughs> We're not buying it. We were, um, Tutorials she was using and peddling as her own also on Etsy, which is a joke. It's like, we all know who those people are who created. Them. So again, now for the people who don't know what, what, what this is referencing to, there was, a, there, was, there, was, there was a moment in time when I believe her mother, you know, was basically selling artwork that was not hers. Artwork that she had, uh, you know, replicated from someone else. And this is the person itself in question. And accountability is a very, is a very a, a massive thing, you know? You want to go back and let's, and again, boys and girls, again, boys and girls, you know, let's just go back to where we started off this whole thing. We start off right here. Okay. And, 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 and I have to, I have to stress this, you know, you talk about not being bulletproof and also, you know, people want to DM me or create comments about mental health and whatnot. But what about these people here that are being affected? What about their mental health? Okay. What about, you know, what about them not being proof, being bulletproof? But do you know what the biggest difference is with every single person that is off air? Okay, that obviously, you know, is expressing how they feel. The difference between them and you is this. Not a single one of them decided to pick up a camera, make a video, and put themselves out there to the world. So therefore, these are people who are speaking behind the, behind the keyboard because they're people that obviously don't have the same confidence that I have or you have. So therefore, of course, they're going to expect us to be some, to have some sort of, you know, uh, sh bulletproof shield or whatever. What I'm trying to say is basically is that... Uh, you cannot compare once you are someone who's on the net and your face is out there. There is no way I could ever compare myself to someone that has never done that. That's why I always have to be, I always have to be considerate, considerate about, you know, what I'm doing on my platform and how it's going to affect others. And most importantly, if people are not going to like it, I have to make sure I'm ready for the backlash, you know, because I've put myself in this position to technically be bulletproof. But again, this isn't about me. This is about you. And yes, Nobody's bulletproof, but the matter of the fact is, you're the only person that has destroyed her own bulletproof vest. It was not the people. You're the only person that has taken away Fearless out of their own name. Why? Too many chain of events. We go from skin removal, potential photoshops, lying, blocking, deleting. Accountability, boys and girls. Accountability, boys and girls. But at the end of the day, Alex will always be Alex. That is fine. No issues that whatsoever. People are entitled to be who, to be who they are. But those people that want to come here and talk about how I have created this world where, even though I speak 
with um with with even though I speak in the man in the mannerism where obviously I, I don't call her names you know obviously I don't bow down her in any in any vicious way people you know are are, are are now frustrated that maybe that I've created this platform of a comment section for people to express however they want to express about how they feel about the situation but the fact the fact is though whoever comes to this channel should be allowed to express however they want to express because if they are that upset because somebody has not taken accountability of their actions over the years then let them vent and if it has to be down below in the comments section, then it has to be but do i condone anyone potentially um swearing or calling anyone names absolutely not but as far as i'm concerned there has been nobody in the comment section that i have seen that has ever said anything about alex in a way where it is like calling her names or describing in a disgusting way all people have merely done is explained very simply their experiences of following her and how she's affected their lives in a negative way but of course her minions want to come here and claim that we are that us on this platform are trying to put her down no we're not we're trying to make it aware that the lies the accountability it needs to stop and also boys and girls i've only just remembered this I've only just remembered this because this is something else that was sent to me earlier today, which I didn't find very, um, very amusing to be honest with you. And even honestly, boys and girls, okay, um, there's there's a video that I that that I was sent to me today, and this video here, as I speak, boys and girls, I'm gonna try and get it up again, okay, because I know it was sent to me. I just need to see if it can get up quick enough as I speak to you right now. Now there's a video that was sent to me today, and it was a video that Alex did some years ago, okay, and this, and in this video itself in particular, she went out and uh, she wore a bikini. Okay, so the concept was that she well not bikini, sorry, a swimsuit, a swimsuit. Let's not go too out there, okay, with the with the bikini kind of stuff. But she went out there, okay, and she wore a uh, a swimsuit, okay. And in this video itself alone, the whole concept that she ran with was, hey guys, you know, I'm I'm just out here to kind of basically force people to accept who I am. That's that's how I saw the video. Now, for some of you boys and girls, the video I have it up here, okay. This is the video that she uploaded what uh, last year to be fair, July, July the second, okay, and it's called a uh, fat girl, a uh, fat girl spent twenty four hours on a swimsuit public challenge, okay. And you know what? The thing is, the thing, the, 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 the thing that I disliked about this video, and it's the same thing that someone said, the person who sent it to me said as well, is that uh, in this video, the fact that she encourages other people to go out of their way to leave their homes and challenge themselves to just walk out in a bikini. I've seen this before in 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 in, in, in other situations away from Alex. Don't get me wrong as well. So I'm not just speaking based on her. But I think this is a, a, a ridiculous idea because you do not know what danger you're putting someone's life in. If someone actually just says, hey, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go out today and wear my swimsuit, you know, and, and I walk around, you know, in, 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 in supermarkets, gas stations. I mean, look, so has, has, has that flicker through here? I believe she's just come out of Target. I believe it's cold. OK, she's in a swimsuit there. And then next thing here, she then changes her swimsuits and then now she's pumping gas. OK, uh, you know, and then she obviously goes into the gas station and then obviously there's another one where she moves on and she goes into a supermarket, I believe. OK, she's in there or, you know, she goes, you know, I said Dunkin Donuts. Yeah, she goes in Dunkin Donuts. I mean, come on. I get it. Listen, no one should be judged for going Dunkin Donuts. But what I'm trying to say is if you if, if someone else who doesn't have the courage that she had at this time goes into Dunkin Donuts where she does, that person's probably going to get scrutinized so much and you don't know how much that's going to push someone back within their confidence. There's even a step where she's in a library. Why are you in a library wearing... A library is a place of education. It's a place of peace. It's a place where, every, where, where people who love books go to block out the world. So I have all places. You then, you then go to a library. And then listen, you're, you're now in a supermarket. Listen, come on. You're around all the fresh foods. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And on top of that, there's a young man right there, a young man right there. And the thing is, I do wonder though, did you even get permission to put this young man on your on your screen? Okay, to put him on YouTube because you know because that is that is breaking the law realistically. But again, accountability is something that you don't do because to be honest with you, Alex, the way I see it, you have become rather reckless over the years. And I think doing something like that is just overstepping. Some people may be like, yo, that's so that's amazing. I can't believe she actually went out there. She's so brave. She's so fearless. And maybe she is. But then to end the video by saying, hey guys, maybe you should challenge yourselves and do the same thing. But you don't know if that person has the same bulletproof, fearless mindset that you have. So what happens if they go out and they get ridiculously bullied by someone? Someone really puts them down for going out there. Not necessarily because they're big, but because they've gone out there wearing, you know, something that I guess you shouldn't really wear on a normal day, day base unless you're going somewhere. I don't know. It depends on how you want to look at it, right? But either way, what would happen? Just out of curiosity, 
what would happen if one of the members of Phyllis tribe done that and then they went through a traumatic experience and they came back and said alex i did what you said and now i'm just mortified i can't even leave my house now because i'm just so embarrassed about what i did because people were just looking at me and i thought i was going to be fearless too fearless like you but i just couldn't do it the question is though if that person reached out to you and said to you so and so would you consult them back and say do you know what i'm actually so sorry you know i, I encourage you to do that i should have thought about my actions or would you just block them and delete them because it seems to me the chain of events of accountability is that you block and you delete and you never own up to anything you didn't try and own up to the fact that you know potentially your mom was obviously selling this art you haven't owned up to anything else within that timeline the fact that you've had you potentially had skin skin surgery anyway you know what i mean you just don't own up to nothing accountability i can say i cannot say that anymore but boys and girls i'll end it right there i've said i've said it, i've said what i've said i have spoken and i let you have your comments in the conversation as we always do boys and girls of course everyone's always going to keep it respectful so please we're not toxic here we are the concerned donuts and with that being said the merch is coming out real soon as soon as we drop to 10k <laughs> and also the join button is coming as soon as we get to 10k uh -huh. <laughs> but with that being said boys and girls thank you so much for your time and i shall see you next time thank you so uh wait i've said that already right okay peace and out <laughs> bye guys